Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. I hope that you all are doing fine. Now today we are going to learn about the various hardness tests we use in dentistry. Now the first question is what is hardness? Hardness refers to the ability of a material to resist forces of indentation or penetration. So what is hardness? It is the ability of a material to resist the forces of indentation or penetration. And we depict the hardness of a material by the hardness number. Okay. So if a material has a low hardness number, that means it is a soft material and vice versa. Now you must be thinking why do we need to measure hardness? Why is it so important that we have various tests of measuring hardness? Because in dentistry, we require different strength of materials for different purposes okay for example you must be knowing that after tooth preparation we pour the impression in dye stone why don't we pour it in the dental plaster or dental stone why dye stone why because on that dye stone we have to prepare the wax pattern okay and that will be further going for casting so we need a very accurate reproduction right we need a very accurate reproduction of our tooth preparation and for that we need it to be hard. If it is less hard, for example, if you are pouring it with stone, it will obviously chip off. Even if slight portion of it gets chipped off, you know, the entire fitting will be a disaster. Okay, so this is one example why hardness is so important, why measuring and knowing the hardness of material is so important. So if you are asked about the clinical significance of hardness, you can give this example. You can give the example of the gypsum products. You can give example of denture based material. Like the denture based materials have low abrasion resistance. Okay. So we advise the patient not to, not to clean the dentures very aggressively, right? Because of this reason. Also, we need to know the hardness of the restorative material okay because if the restorative material is too hard what will happen it can wear off the opposite surface your natural tooth can be damaged if it is too hard right so now we know that knowing the hardness is important okay but what are the methods of measuring the hardness okay what are the methods of measuring the hardness Okay, so we have the most crash test, we have the indentation method like the Brinnell test, Rockwell test, Wicker test and the Noob test. Let me just mention it here, Noob test, okay. And we have the penetration method which includes the Barcoles durometer, okay. So these are the various tests we do to know the hardness of a material. For us, these four tests are very important, the Brinnell, Rockwell, Vickers and the Noob test, okay? Now, how do we classify hardness test? It can be classified into micro hardness test and macro hardness test, okay? We will be knowing why micro and why macro as we proceed in the video. But for now, just keep in mind that micro hardness test are the Noob and the Wicker, okay? And macro hardness tests are the Brinnell and the Rockwell. The Brinnell hardness number was invented by Dr. J. A. Brinnell. Okay. Now, what we do in this test, we have a steel or a carbide ball having a diameter of 10 mm. We give it a load of 3000 kilogram and we indent the surface of the material we have to test. Okay. And this 3000 kilogram value. This can be reduced to 1500 or 500 kg in case we have a soft material, okay? And this entire full load, it is applied for 10 to 30 seconds. Now, what will happen once we give this load, we will have an indentation on the surface of the material, right? Now, since it is a ball or a sphere, what kind of indentation will we get? We will get a round dent in the material now after we have got the dent how do we measure the hardness number what we'll do we will divide the load by the area of indentation and that value is the 
DHN, renal hardness number. Okay. So, if for a given load, let's say 3000 kilogram, if the indentation is smaller for one material, you can say that the material is harder. So, what is the value? We have the load divided by area. Now, what is the use of this number? On what materials can we use this? So, it is used extensively for determining the hardness of metals and those materials which have heterogeneous or grainy structures. Now, keep here in mind that this cannot be used for brittle and elastic materials. Even the next one which we are going to study, you cannot use that one also for the brittle materials 